24 little white lies that are totally okay to tell your spouse. Hurt them. Sometimes a some little white lie to avoid her help. feelings is fine. For example, if you just couldn't resist watching the next episode of your favorite show even though you said you'd wait, it's okay to pretend like you didn't watch it and then watch it again with them. Beth Sonnenberg, if you're doing something that is not harming your spouse, and you don't want them to know about it because it might add tension to your relationship, it may be not be necessary to tell them. For instance, saying, you asked me to put the kids to bed last night by 7 p.m. and they didn't end up going to sleep until 10 p.m. That's a truth that may not be necessary to share with your partner Rabbi Shlomo Slatkin, L.P.C., Certified Imago Relationship Therapist and Founder Nobody of the okay. Marriage Restoration Project. Most people Project. loves their mother-in-law the way they love their own mother. Or maybe even their dog. But she's an important person to your partner, and if you have to be honest about your feelings, then find a friend or a stranger to vent to. Do not criticize your mother-in-law. Even if she slashes your tires, separate your feelings about her from your feelings about her behavior. This isn't a person who falls under the category of honesty is the best policy. Your child's school teacher, sure. Your gardener, yes. Your mother-in-law, lie. No good will come from the truth if you... When giving her. your partner a gift, Masini. it's fine, within limits, to not disclose how much the gift was you purchased. You want them to be able to enjoy the gift, not worry about how much you spent or feel guilty that you're spending money on them. Bruce Cameron, licensed professional counselor and executive If coach your partner asks if Dallas, you can see Texas. the results of their new workout program, the answer is always yes. You want them to keep exercising and feel positive about it, right? Besides, everyone is making progress in their workout regardless of whether it shows on the outside One yet. occasion when it's okay to Cameron. tell a little white lie is to derail the spark of what could possibly turn into a bigger argument or breakdown in communication. Affirm their point of view and let it go. For instance, say, Honey, I hear you and I understand. My belief is you must know your spouse and know when it's better to fake being on their side versus creating a battle you're not prepared to fight. Nazar and Nekesha Michelle, relationship coach and founder of the Ultimate A Match little white Love lie is okay when it agency. boosts the confidence and security of your partner. If you need to offer an honest criticism, Sandwich it between two good things. For instance, honey, you look amazing and I bet you would really be a showstopper if you insert comment, but even if you don't, I love you and you always have my After attention. After a while in a relationship, Michelle. you begin to notice their daily living habits, like socks on the floor, underwear by the bed, and dishes in the sink. You think maybe they grew up with a maid and now you're the one to clean their mess. You can bring it up or if it's a small thing, just bite the bullet and deal with it. After all, they likely do the same for you. If they ask you about it, feel free to tell a little white lie and say, it's fine. Audrey Hope, relationship therapist in Brentwood CA, and host of Hope for Relationships https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash playlist question mark list equal sign pltpvw7 mix w74 wz58 bus qkb if your partner loves their car and you can't stand it it's fine to tell a little white lie perhaps they talk endlessly about how they got it where they wash it and blah blah tell them it's a beautiful car and you love riding in it Ask questions about the model and how the ride can be so smooth. When they bring the subject up over and over again, just smile. It doesn't hurt you and makes them feel loved. This can of course also apply to other things your spouse loves that you are not as into Perhaps as they are. your partner's employees are not your cup of tea. But they are your spouse's colleagues from work, so this is a time to be really unselfish and get to know them and if that requires a white lie, so be it. When there's an office party, have a cocktail beforehand to loosen up and talk to everyone. If you know your partner loves their co-workers, there's no need to tell them how you really feel about Need to be people. gentle and kind when it comes to our spouses. If a spouse is asking if they look fat, and they don't look their best, and is about to go on a job interview, the kindest thing to do is to help them select something that is professional and flattering it's not the time to discuss weight. Saying something like that outfit doesn't highlight your best features, 
why don't we try to find something more flattering is a good option. Helen Odesky, PhD, psychologist, and author of Complete Stop Honesty in Relationships Can you. Often Seriously Backfire. In Relationships Truth telling to your partner about how much they irritate, frustrate, or anger you may feel good in the moment, but is incredibly dysfunctional and damaging in the long term. For instance, your partner does something for you such as making you breakfast in bed, cooking you dinner, bringing you coffee at work, but it's not quite how you like it just tell them thank you so much for thinking of me, that makes me feel so special. Jula Enderix, expert if your partner asks, in do you miss me when I'm gone, there's no need to be brutally honest and tell them you love your alone time. Tell them simply, yes, I think of you often and even when I'm too busy to talk, thinking of you still brings a smile to my face. You might not actually think about them all the time, but if you really pay attention, you may just realize that when your partner comes to mind, it really does bring a smile to your the face. The truth doesn't serve any purpose other than to make the person feel bad, it's okay to tell a white lie. For example, women never want to be told anything negative about their appearance, so it's a given that a husband should never tell his wife she looks fat in an outfit. And men don't want the truth from their wives nearly as much as they want their approval and acceptance. As Dale Carnegie wrote in his hugely popular book How to Win Friends and Influence People, three-fourths of the people you ever meet are hungry and thirsty for sympathy. Give it to them, and they will love you. Suzanne Venker, marriage expert, author of the Perhaps you don't care for sports, or going to the movies or fancy restaurants or hunting for flea market finds, but your partner does. Instead of telling them what you really think of their favorite hobbies, simply say, I've never thought about doing that before. You can even add, but it sounds like something you want to do so I'll give it a try. Research shows that couples who allow each other to be influenced, taking opinions and feeling into account, by each other in a healthy way are happier overall. And finesse the truth, in some cases, by adding on a compliment or expressing your gratefulness. For example, if your spouse's cooking is terrible, you don't have to come right out and say your cooking sucks. You can easily say instead baby, thank you so much for always making sure we have home cooked meals. If you'd like to go even further to make sure the cooking improves, you can also add and I would love to get in this kitchen with you to help you sometime so you can make a few suggestions on possibly adding more seasoning or whatever the case may be. Taya Cunningham Sumter, Certified Life and Love Coach. Everyone makes author, mistakes and when and your spouse life. makes one, it's fine to tell a little white lie to help support them and not make them feel worse about what they've done. Instead of expressing your anger or frustration you could say, I know it was an accident and I'm good, mistakes happen to the best of us. So even though you may be mad as hell, you don't always have to say it out loud. Actually forgetting your partner's birthday is not good, but telling her you forgot her birthday and taking her to a restaurant where all her friends are gathered to surprise her is an example of a good lie as it's for the purpose of bringing joy into your partner's life. Luis Maimoni, MS. Spouses may ask the other therapist. about previous exes and how they compare. Answering that your current partner is the best looking or most talented just reassures them of your love. They don't need to know that your previous main squeeze was a beauty contest winner or a male model. Patricia Bubash, licensed professional counselor and It's not necessary to share marriages. tidbits of your previous love life with your current partner. If they ask what kind of sexual partner your previous love was, tell them that they are the best lover you've ever had. If you want to improve an aspect of your love life, simply bring it up with your partner and leave your exes out of the conversation. I don't recommend lying generally, Bubash. but sometimes a lie of omission simply not saying something is appropriate. For instance, things that won't impact them in any way but you know will get them in a bad mood, sometimes it's best to just not to mention those negative things. As long as you're being open and communicative otherwise. Steve McGuff, Director of Research and Development at Women and Couples Wellness, LLC, an associate professor Not of being truthful about new products. frivolous purchases are a common white line because it's harmless. Those new shoes aren't going to prevent that rent-slash-mortgage payment to be made. Instead, it acts as a protective buffer against overspending and maintains relationship harmony. It also allows you to retain your identity within the relationship, 
something that can get lost over time. Clarissa Silva, behavioral scientist and author of Relationship If your partner Laundry loves his mother's cooking but you are not a fan of it, it can be better to skim over the conversation or make general comments about how it's fine. This way, you are not lying, but you are not creating tension with your partner either. Samantha Daniels, relationship expert and founder of The Dating Lounge http colon slash slash www.thedatinglounge.net